Hey, welcome back to KNK Virtual Productions. I'm Karthik, your host, and today in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create a leaf falling animation inside Blender using particle system. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, first of all, let's create a leaf. So, for creating the leaf, choose any leaf image from the Google, then I import it inside Photoshop. Then, what I did is I exported the leaf image in two ways that is, first as a normal PNG image, and the second as black and white image. That is, the leaf will be white and the back background will be black so that we can use it as alpha map inside blender so once you're ready with two texture maps let's jump into blender so inside blender let's import the leaf image as image planes so so shift a and import as image planes if you don't have that option make sure you enable that inside our add-on so go to add-on and search for image planes and just enable that checkbox then shift a and go to image and import as image as planes so here we have the image of the leaf then go to the shader editor and make sure you connect the alpha node that is the alpha image that we exported from photoshop so once you connect that to alpha you can see our leaf is in png so now what you can do is uh, you can just create some subdivision and make the leaf like bender or twisted to make it more realistic so once you're ready with the leaf let's start with the tree so for the tree, I'm gonna use the botanic add-on since botanic has this option for animating the tree. If you don't have the botanic add-on, I have made a video on how to animate plants and trees without using an add-on. So the link will be given in the description and also will be pinned somewhere at the top right or the top left corner. So here you can see with the botanic add-on, we can have animated trees and plants. So, so once you got the tree ready, let's start with the leaf falling animation. So for creating the leaf falling animation, first we have to create an emitter. So for creating an emitter, what I've did is I've created a plane and placed it at the center of the tree, something like this and scaled it up. And once you're ready with the plane, what I have to do is, so once you're ready with the plane, just go to the particle tab and let's create a new particle system. So let's go for the emitter and when you hit the play button you can see some spheres are falling down from the plane. So we got the emitter right. Then what I have to do is let's increase the frame number to 500 so that we can see more of the particles coming down. And, and on the render option you can just change the render as. So right now it is set as halo. You can just change it as the collection. So the collection is what we have created for the leaf. That is a leaf PNG. So now once you are ready with that just you can just increase the scale and scale randomness you can see the leaf images is falling from the emitter and you can increase the scale randomness and make sure you click the uh, rotation and have the dynamic or randomized rotation and adjust all the particle uh, options as your own wish and once you're ready with the particles what i did is i have created a uh, wind so just align the wind according to the direction you want so something like this i have placed so once you're happy with the position and the direction of the wind you can just increase the speed something like now you can see the leaves are falling towards the direction of the wind something like this now it's all up to you it's all up to your creativity and play with the options of the particle system and the wind once you are happy with all those what you have to do is you just need to bake the particle system so click on the plane and go to cache and just bake your animation so once your baking is completed here we have the beautiful leaf falling animation inside blender with our particle system now you can just place a camera and light and that's it as I said, just enable your creative mind. So once again, I'm telling if you want to know how to animate plants and trees without using any add-ons, I have already made a video on my channel. I will place the link in the description and also I will pin the video link somewhere at the top corner of the screen. So that's it guys. I hope you love this video. If this video was helpful, you know what to do. Share this video with your Blender friends. So once again, you are watching KNK Visual Productions. I'm Karthik and I'm signing off. See you in the next video. Until then, take care.